and it's a perfect day to talk about weather because of the Santa Ana winds that are blowing so hard and that is just a horrible wind to fish in in Southern California when we have these massive Santa Ana's that we're gonna probably have through November normally it goes right through Thanksgiving we have some unbelievable winds through Thanksgiving starting now this is historic this does I mean this is not historic this is uh, the way it normally is we have these winds that come every year around this time of the year those of you that are new to our area Southern California this northeast wind is not new they call it Santa Ana it happens every year about this time it's horrible if you're at Catalina right now if any of you got a chance to go online after you're done listening to me and see what's going on in Avalon it's blowing 25 to 45 knots right now blowing straight into the Avalon Harbor just causing massive chaos waves are crashing over the boardwalk it's it looks very very scary in there right now so we need to talk about weather and how important it is especially if you're taking your friends or family or your children out on the boat the weather is the number one thing you want to pay attention to more than what kind what the fight is like it's all about weather and nowadays with this newfangled thing called the internet there's many many ways to check out what the weather is doing in your area days before you decide to take your loved ones or your friends out fishing on your boat or even just boating for general just to go out there you want to look at the weather and what matters the most to us is the speed of the wind and the size of the swell and the interval between swells that is going to be what is going to cause the ocean to be gnarly like it is today it went the the uh once the time of the swell in between swells gets inside of 10 seconds that is absolutely horrible that is absolutely gnar gnarly on the water when it's 12 knots of wind 12 to 15 knots of wind with swells at eight or say four to eight foot with an interval of nine seconds you can't go out there you just cannot be caught out there you'll be you'll be in a horrible situation a dire situation especially on smaller boats even on the big boats some of the ones that i drive we won't go out when the weather's like that because it's just miserable it's absolutely miserable but the uh time between the swells if you go to buoy weather and you look it's going to say the wind's going to be 25 to 45 knots out of the northeast that's a big red flag you wave that red flag you're like nope we're not going today surrender we're not going we are not going out there when it's blowing that hard because you've got to turn around eventually yeah it'll be fun going heading straight out to sea it'll be fun but eventually you're gonna have to turn around and come home right now I'd hate to be at Avalon trying to get back to Newport or Dana Point it's gonna be one of the worst rides you could possibly imagine it'll take hours and hours and hours of fighting giant swells to get home that ocean gets really big really fast when that wind is blowing straight offshore because of the fact that normally the water is moving in a direction towards the beach now you're going to push it away from the beach this is going to cause it to stack up into big mountains because you have the prevailing water moving towards the beach and all of a sudden now you have the wind pushing the water out off the beach it causes these giant mountains that are uncomprehendable that they can get that big that fast but it is and if you don't believe me when i'm done talking here today Google Avalon, California. Look at their live cams right now. If you've ever been to Catalina, you will be absolutely amazed at how gnarly rough it is in Avalon Harbor right now. It is unbelievable how rough it is right now because of the Santa Ana winds. Now look, in the olden days, before this newfangled thing, the internet, we had to just kind of take gather as much information as we could from friends, family, people that are out on the water and try to make a weather prediction. Now you don't have to do any of that. You can go to buoy weather. You can go to windy. You can go to iWindy. You can go to many, many different websites 
and get the current wind information. Wind is your enemy on the ocean, gang. That is what causes the ocean to be rough. If it is flat, glass, or flat with no, or excuse me, zero wind, there's a very good chance that the ocean is gonna be flat and glassy. But anytime the wind blows more than 12 knots, 12 knots of wind is what causes a white cap. I prefer to not go if it's blowing over 12 knots because of the fact that I come out on the water every single day. So on those days when it blows more than 12 knots, I don't have to go. Neither do you. We live in Southern California where we have about 300 beautiful days. Those 65 days out of the year where the weather is crappy, you do not have to go. And also, like I always say, Somebody you're taking on your boat has actually trusted you to make decisions. You want to call yourself a captain, then you better be able to do the research to make sure that when you're taking your friends or family members out fishing on your boat, you better know how to read weather and you better be able to understand weather. And then you better be big enough and grown up enough to make the call to say we're not going. It's way better to be safe than it is to be sorry. I, I hear guys all the time go, hey, Captain Dave, Captain Dave, we're going to go. I, I know you're saying the weather's going to be bad, but we're going to go. Then the next day, they call me up and they go, I had no idea it was going to be that rough. I'm like, I told you. I told you it was going to be gnarly. Why would I lie to you? I would never lie to any of you. We're not married. I'm not trying to marry.